can you hear me now? That's a little better. How about now? Better? Yeah, a bit more. More? Okay. Do I need to talk this loud? No. There you go. What? Okay. How about Okay. So, I'm not singing. I'm reading poetry. And the first poem I'm going to read is called Letter to Prodigal Daughter. And I kind of wrote this because this is kind of um, like a plea to all those young girls who have lost their way and they don't know how to find their way back. And um, really to go find their way back to the people that really love them. You have become the ultimate rebel. No thought of the future because your future is now. Living in the present and the past is forgotten. Making the choices you were always told not to make. Claiming you are now free. Free? Yes. Free to ruin your body with cheap caresses and false declarations of love. Free to imbibe in mind-altering, brain-damaging, cell-decimating chemical concoctions. Free to engage in a self-destructive path which leads to an early demise. Are you really free? Or bound to a way of life? Encouraging you to hate yourself, tear down yourself, and kill yourself. Slowly. Deceiving you into believing that this is better than before. Willing to go against everything you knew to be proven true. Feeling emptiness and callousness of a heart hardened by agony. Longing for inner peace as a hungry man wants for food. Searching in vain to find satisfaction in your current state. Determined to believe you still know the wise course of action to take. Desiring what is left within your soul to find tranquility. Irony that an attempt to be free has led you deeper entrenched in slavery. Break the chains, stop the lunacy, come back, come back. End the self-inflicted suffering. It's okay to make mistakes, but don't spend the rest of your life with regret. It's okay to make mistakes, but don't die for them. Right. What is true? And it's was I, I wrote it pretty much after thinking about how um, people can really sometimes be deceitful and tell you what they think you want to hear, but and then sometimes it has you questioning your own self. So this is what is true? Is it actual facts? Or is it my perception of what I believe it to be? Mental riddles, mind playing games, contorting the physical into an alternate reality, visible to only me. What is true? Is it the vow of undying affection that he bestowed upon me? Pursued me with an intensity, <coughs> filled unspoken wishes as if he lived inside my mind. Was it truth or was it trickery? Overpowering my discernment abilities, Bruce hoax fraud, presented before me as the luscious fruit was before Eve. A glorious deception of promises of happiness, brain manipulation like the potter with his clay, forced hallucinations like mirages in the desert, cleverly crafted world of dreams become nightmares where darkness absorbs all light. Words of attestation flow freely like water through cracks in a broken well. Actions do not corroborate. Testimony given, statements cannot be truth. I love you. Truth or trickery? Is it he or is it my own ears that deceive me? Mm. Wanting to believe, doubt my ears instead. Question their capacity to hear correctly. But in this life of misery, all that is left is to accept the truth. His actions speak truth, when his mouth will not.
explain.